No matter which Edelkrone motion control product you use, you can directly convert any camera action into time-lapse very easily. Edelkrone products are programmed and optimized for photo time-lapse. By using a shutter trigger cable, you can connect your camera with the Edelkrone system. Once connected via cable, the Edelkrone product will send a signal to your camera to take pictures at each step of time-lapse. Afterwards, these taken frames can be combined into a time-lapse video in post-production. To use the time-lapse mode, you must have at least two pre-saved key poses. If you are in target mode, you must have at least two pre-saved slider positions and one target. When you tap the time-lapse button, you may set your time-lapse by updating the settings on the time-lapse screen. Record time allows you to adjust the time that will pass in real time for the time-lapse you're about to set. You may set how long your final time-lapse video will be from the playtime adjustment. You may also choose the proper frame per second value for your project from the frame per second section. Choose from the list a value that's closest to your shutter speed. The first two lines of adjustment will affect the set the interval duration here. You also have the option to adjust the video speed from here. When you update this information, the interval will also be updated according to the adjustment above. If your interval is of first priority, the interval you'll pick will update playtime and video speed without affecting your record time. You may see how many frames will be taken from the indicated section. You may also decide from which pose you'd like your time lapse to start and preview your camera motion. These settings will be more than enough for a basic time lapse video. You may also check out dynamic interval and ramping from the dedicated video. You can directly convert the pre saved motion into time lapse by only entering record time, play time, FPS, interval, and shutter speed. Your time lapse will start when you tap Start. From the notification screen, you can always check the time elapsed, the time remaining, and the frame count. You may also pause or continue the process from here. Once you start the time lapse, you can close the app or even turn off your smartphone. The system will complete the time lapse without needing a connection with your smartphone. Please don't hesitate to contact us if you have any questions.